Hello, I'm Martin Pitt from the Cockpit team. Today's Cockpit 209 release introduces smart card authentication. This is supported within an identity management domain like FreeAPA or Active Directory. And these are the typical choices for large organizations that centrally manage users. Smart card login to Cockpit essentially means authenticating to the Cockpit web server over TLS with a client side certificate. Identity management supports that by associating a centrally managed user to a certificate. In this video, I want to demo all the steps from the, for this from the ground up. There are three machines involved here. Donald is my host that runs the browser and has the smart card reader attached. X0 is the server that I want to log into and manage with Cockpit. And F0 is a free IPA server. I haven't done much to that other than installing it and running IPA server install. Let's start with creating a centrally managed user Jane on the free IPA server. We give it an initial password foo. Now let's log into our X0 cockpit machine, just the regular way with a local administrator, because this machine is not joined to a domain yet. So let's join that domain. Cockpit automatically detects available domains, so cockpit.lan is exactly right. Let's keep the default and log in as the free IP administrator. This takes a while, so I stop the recording. Now we are joined. We see that here. And now we should be able to log in as Jane. Free IPA defaults to users having to change the initial passwords. So let's do that. And here we are. Now we see we are logged in as chain developer. We can also see that in the terminal with the ID command that shows us the high user IDs which are being handed out by FreeAPA. Now on to the next step. So let's go back to our FreeAPA server and create a certificate. For this demo, I'm just using the standard OpenSSL tools here to show how it works with basic tools. Of course, in a production environment, you would use something better like CertMonger to create and maintain these certificates. So now we see we have a key pair. For technical reasons, we now need to convert this to two more formats. First to dir, which is like a binary format for the certificates that's required for importing into free IPA. And also to p12, which is a common import export format for browsers. And it can also be used for importing a certificate to a smart card. We need to associate that newly created certificate to the JNUs and free IPA now. So we use the user at cert command for that. And now we see that certificate is associated indeed to the user Jane. And we also need to download that certificate to the local host so that we can do something with it. We have two options now. We can either import Jane P12 directly into the browser, into the soft token device, or I can put it onto a smart card. And since I have a smart card reader, let's do that. Let's start from a clean slate and completely erase the smart card. 
So the first thing you need to do is to format a smart card, which essentially means banking it and creating the security officer user and key. And now let's create a user for Jane developer with user ID one. Note that it's helpful that it has the same name as the Unix user, but it is not really directly associated to it. So the smart card has an independent set of user IDs. And finally, let's upload the JMP12 certificate to the smart card and associate it to that user ID 01, which is Jane. So let's first unlock the P12 certificate. They usually have a transport password, foo, and then enter the pins of security officer and Jane. Same pin as on my luggage, of course. And now we see that the smart card has a user Jane with an associated key. The final step is to actually enable smart card authentication in the cockpit configuration. This is not enabled by default for various reasons. So there's a certain option for that. Let's enable it. And we need to stop cockpit to make sure that it restarts and rereads the configuration file. So we've done all the hard parts finally. Let's see what happens. Let's go back to the browser and the cockpit URL. And, oh, this is something new. The browser now gets a certificate request from the cockpit web server. So it tries to unlock all the available certificates. I enter my Jane smart card pin. And of course, I don't want to use my Debian certificate to log into the cockpit, but the one from Jane that we just created and imported. And here I see, yes, this is indeed from the smart card. And now I see on the login page, there is no user and password prompt anymore. It's just thinking a little while while the smart card does its computation. And I directly get into the cockpit UI for the Jane user. So we can see this at the top of the user menu again. It should be mentioned that this does not yet have any administrative privileges here. So even if Jane was marked as an administrator in FreeIPA, which it currently isn't, uh, there is currently no way to elevate privileges to actually do administrative things in Cockpit. So this is something which we are going to work on next. But of course, you can already use the built-in terminal and sudo to do that. Thank you for your attention.